Hey guys, it's been a minute since I've had a video. Uh, been extremely busy with all kind of work related stuff. Uh, winter setting in here in Alabama and it's getting cold. Uh, I got a new garage space now, so I got a new place to make some content and uh, keep my tools and try to stay warm and out the weather. Um, I got a cool project we've been working on. A buddy of mine's got a neat property. Uh, it's way off in the middle of nowhere and it's actually in a swamp. Um, we decided that we wanted to have a little hunting property out there, so we decided to uh, build like an off-grid cabin. Uh, let me take you out there and go show you what I've got. As we go back here, um, even just the road was a fair bit of work. Uh, there was an existing walking trail um, that went back to this location, um, and we had to widen it using our uh, Bobcat E42. Had to uproot a lot of trees, um, had to cut some down um, just to get this small road built, mainly for the reason of getting the, uh, the shed back here eventually. To create a parking space, we had to put down a butt ton of fill dirt. On top of that, I put a whole triaxle load of crush and run gravel. Um, that gave us an area to park because everything out here is definitely a marshy swamp. Uh, if you want to stay dry, it's got to be raised up. You definitely got to have a certain type of vehicle to get back here, and uh, we kind of like it that way. This whole area is expected to flood eventually. Uh, you can see our large borrow pit we had to dig in order to get our fill dirt that we needed for our project. Uh, I just got finished cementing in all my 2x4 structure into the ground for my panel array. Uh, let me trim it up and uh, we'll see what it looks like when I get finished and I'll walk you through the process of how it works. Here we got our eight Harbor Freight panels. Um, I've got a pretty basic uh, 2x4 and 2x6 structure. Um, what I did is I, uh, I cemented it down into the ground. Everything's pressure treated here. Uh, let me kind of go around back here and I'll show you how this uh, system is wired up. Uh, each one of these panels has a pretty basic uh, connector that comes off the back of it uh, with two wires. Um, Harbor Freight sells a uh, Thunderbolt brand um, solar connector hub where you can connect eight of these panels together. It'll handle 400 watts is what they rate it for. Um, on the output of this panel, I have uh, spliced in some 10 gauge stranded wire uh, and that runs over into a little uh, kind of transfer box that I've built. Um, from this transfer box, I use a 10 gauge real heavy duty extension cord it's rated to be outside in the weather. Um, and even then that goes down and I've ran conduit that's going to be buried um, that runs into the cabin. But hey, look at this view. Here's my pretty basic lead acid battery bank that I've built now. Um, it's all 12 volt. Um, everything's just parallel together. Uh, I'm going to build in a structure to kind of enclose all this in eventually and probably use some better batteries. But this is my prototype for now. Sticking with our Harbor Freight theme, we've got a Predator 3500 watt inverter generator. Um, this thing's basically like a Honda clone, super quiet and fuel efficient. Well, let's go inside and check out the meat and potatoes of this project. Uh, as you can see, I've already got a couple of outdoor light fixtures, um, as well as our indoor lighting. Everything runs off LED lights, so it's all real efficient on wattage. Uh, some of our outlets I already have built-in USB ports for charging smartphones and other devices uh, otherwise it's got regular outlets throughout um, let me show you how our power system works here uh, we've got two sources of 120 volt power that enter our panel uh, the main source of power is our solar system that runs through the inverter we get an 800 watt power inverter um, it feeds power directly into our go power uh, TS30 transfer switch um, this automatic switch also takes our generator power and automatically switches back and forth between the two of them. Um, that also prevents any kind of back feeding of power from the generator into the power inverter and it also powers up the NOCO Genius battery charger whenever the uh, generator is running to utilize that power. However, whenever the sun's out, we're going to utilize the Harbor Freight Thunderbolt 30 amp solar charge controller. Uh, this is just a real simple basic PWM. Uh, 30 amp controller. Uh, it does have some USB ports built onto it as well as some lighting output, but overall this is a simple easy to use controller. 
uh, can easily be configured to use with lead acid batteries as well as other types of sealed batteries. Um, throughout the rest of the cabin uh, we went and installed some hardwood flooring uh, just trying to fix it up a little bit. Um, we're eventually going to finish all this stuff in with drywall or wood paneling. Um, this started out life as an H&H brand shed so it's got kind of nice powder coated metal as well as like an insulated door. Um, it's kind of a real heavy duty place. Um, when you're inside of it now with all the finishing work we've done it doesn't even feel like you've been in a shed. We actually added some windows in the side of it and uh, it's really starting to feel like a cabin now. Uh, especially when you come out here in the morning and enjoy some coffee and just enjoy the scenery. It's a beautiful place to just chill and kind of reconnect with yourself.